that's Lana. The dwarven king's heart is soft. But his axe is sharp. And his adopted daughter, Catibri, a deadly archer destined to be a leader. They will resist. The newly crowned king of the Reghead Barbarians, Wolfgar, son of Beornagar. If he can master his rage, he will be dangerous. Drizzed to Worden, the drow outcast. Few can match his deadly speed. He could be the key to everything. They care for each other. Something to be exploited, perhaps. But their bond is strong. Regardless, they failed to secure the shard from that fool, Kessel. It's out there, exposed for the taking. And now, it will be mine. Crystal Shard, forged from the magic of seven liches, but with a treacherous will of its own. For thousands of years, the Shard lay forgotten beneath the snows of Icewind Dale. There it waited, until some fool, a would-be wizard lusting for power beyond his due, answered the Shard's call. A Car Kessel claimed the Shard and used its power to summon armies of evil creatures to his banner. From his crystal tower, he set them loose upon the Dale and the people of Ten Towns. But we would not stand by and watch this tyrant destroy our homes. We companions rallied the united peoples of Ten Towns and held our ground at the walls of Bryn Shanda. chased Kessel to the slopes of Kelvin's cave. When the Shard realized that we had won, it abandoned him. It disappeared once again under the snows, along with Kessel himself. With Kessel gone, we thought the war was over. We were wrong. Though the Crystal Shard was lost, still it called to those who craved power. Its call was strong. And from across the realms they came. But we answered a call of our own. A call to stand together against this dark alliance. And defend our home against the threat of Kred Shinnabar. Friend Regis has told me all about you. Oh, has he? And where is... Go ahead, your highness. Later, Brunor.
The United Peoples of Icewind Dale had defeated Kessel's armies and destroyed his Crystal Tower. But the Dwarven warriors of Clan Battlehammer returned home to find their halls overrun. Their people... Thinking about a vacation soon. You know any good underground beaches? Mithral Hall was my father's and my grandfather's. But this valley is mine, and I'll be dead before I see my people turned to a clan of refugees again. Oh! 
Cohen's shield. These goblins and Verbeeg need to be dealt with, and this siege ended before I can ever hope to reclaim my halls. Gonna take some work. Get out the door! 
Now there's a pro- Come and taste my axe! Take this one seriously. <laughs> 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 of Klangadon! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
siege won't end until those goblin siege weapons are destroyed. What's the word? Scoundrels! by the booyah.
I'm fading fast! Fast! hard. Hammer! Yeah. 
I wonder what Regis is thinking about right now. Maybe me? No. Looking good. Take Max. Up. That'll do nicely. Probably something heroic, hmm?
my Moradin's hammer! Over and another begun. Show me that you're ready, Dwarf King. Here we go! You have not
Everybody kill <laughs> It was not... It was not goblins that drove the battle hammers from them. in my valley this will not stand so long as I have breath
Betrayers and invaders. Sealed shut.
Battle. Sure. 
Durgar we faced were but an advanced force of legions on approach along the bank. Durgar were among those who forced us from Mithral Hall. What kind of king am I to let them force us from our home again? We were lucky to 
battle hammers were four when we arrived. And unlucky. Four minutes. Moving speed, battle hammer. <laughs> It's doing! Stygia with you! 
Sand Castle. You held the shard in your hand! Kelvin! It, it fell on Kelvin's can! Where? I... I don't... I don't know! Ah, useless! The destruction of Bangor's span, the bridge named for his father. Its loss was a heavy burden. The dwarves had to abandon their life, 
chased from their homes by the goblin and verbeak remnants of Kessel's orders. These threats and worse had answered the call of Krent Shinnabon. And we were the only thing that stood between these creatures, the Shard, and the utter destruction of our home.